So the guideline calculation for child support in Colorado is based on uh, the incomes of both parties, the number of overnights that each parent has with the children, and who's paying things like health insurance, extraordinary medical, if there are extraordinary expenses uh, for activities, and work-related or school-related childcare. It all goes into a formula, and there's a table of child support amounts that goes up to a certain combined gross income. There's a threshold, I think it's 240,000 now, um, combined gross income, and that's all in a table. If parties have combined gross incomes that exceed that threshold amount, then the court has the option under Colorado law to extrapolate, and that means to extend the child support beyond the child support tables. Things like uh, kids going to private school or uh, extraordinary medical expenses that are not covered by insurance, those are handled under the statute, but they're not automatic. They're often just shared by the parties in proportion to their percentage share of the combined gross income. If one party doesn't work or if one party is underemployed, that is, they're not employed full time, uh, the court can impute that person and a reasonable rate of income based on their experience and their education and their ability to work. So generally speaking, even if someone is not working, uh, they will be imputed income. Some exceptions are young uh, parents who are home with children, um, people who are in an educational program that's reasonably expected to earn them a higher income. So there are some exceptions to imputation of income.